What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode. In this episode I'm gonna show you how to create these Demorphism social media icons. As you can see here, there is so many cool hover effects. There, there is a scales, the shadows. As you can see, the color of the icons is changed the size and the color. And you are gonna do this as always the easy way, step by step, so you can practice along. And by the end of this episode, you will know how to make this in the add to your website and portfolio. Let's get started. All right, starting really from scratch. In the beginning, I'll have this folder with nothing inside of it, okay? And let's fire up our VS Code. And here, let's create our files structure. It's quite simple. Let's open this one, it's in my desktop. And yeah, let's create this. All I have to do is create just two files. One for the markup, index.html, and the second one for styling. Let me type here, style.css, and that's it. We have all we need here. It's, it's gonna be quite simple, okay, as always. Uh, in here, let's create a bullet plate. Hit tab in the exclamation. For the title, let's say something like Neomorphism Social Media. Okay. Let's have a link that's gonna connect our CSS to our markup. All done, all done now. And down here in the body, let's have a H1 saying follow us on social media. And a big container where we're gonna put the icons, okay? It's, it's that simple. Our markup is very simple, okay? And let's create this big container called social media. Let me put them side by side. So you're gonna be typing on the right and you see the results in real time on the left. You know exactly what you're doing. We're gonna move to the Font Awesome, okay? And let's copy this and paste it in here. Why? Because we're gonna be using the icons, okay? Now let's create an anchor tag, point to nowhere, and let's create the icon and have their class. As you can see, we have already the Facebook icon there. Let's just duplicate this one and change the names, okay? It's quite simple. Let's use their class again, okay? Here is gonna be a Twitter. Let's type here WhatsApp, Instagram, and the last one, let's say YouTube, okay? Now we have all the icons here. All right, now let's go to the CSS. Here is where the magic happens. Let's get started by have our CSS reset, okay? Get rid of margin padding. And let's pick a color to the background. Let's pick an, a nice color here. This simple concept. And now let's grab the H1, this one that say follow us on social media. Let's pick a a font family, also change our font size, and now let's add some space in between the letters, okay? Let's add 4 pixels, as you can see it's become much better, and let's bring it down with padding to uh, 200 pixels, 0 and 100 pixels, it's right in the middle. Let's also change these colors to 555. Five, five. And let's align that in the center, okay? With text align center. Now let's pick the big container, social media, and change its layout to flex. And let's put its container right in, in the middle here, in the center, okay? Is then. Okay, next step here we're gonna grab the, the links, the more important part here of this project, and let's lay out a, it's like flex. 
Let's give it a background color, the same color of the, of the page. Time to give it a, a size, okay? Let's give a width of, let me say, 75 pixels by 75, is it a square? Let's apply some margin, okay? Zero top and bottom 15, right and the left. And let's add some body radius. And you ask, why was the radius? We don't have nothing here. Yeah, we have a square. Let me show you. If I change the color here, you're gonna see that we have a square. Okay, let me put the color back. Okay, let's continue. Now let's put this content in the center. Okay, right in the middle of the boxes that you just saw. Let's also get rid of this ugly underlines with text decoration none. All right. And of course, let's give some shadow. We almost all, all the time we do it to the boxes, okay? Let's add six pixels, six pixels, ten pixels. And let's pick a, a nice color, RGBA. It's gonna be black and dodge 15 of transparency, okay? And here, minus, minus 6 pixels, minus 6 pixels, 10 pixels, and let's pick a second color, okay? All right, as you can see on the left, we start to have a nice project here, okay? And everything was quite simple. Now let's grab the icons. They are too small, as you can see. Let's make it, it, it bigger, okay? Font size, let's say something like 35 pixels. And let's also get rid of this ugly blue. Let's give it a color, 777. Let me save here. And yeah, we have a nice effect already. Okay, they are bigger, and you can see. Uh, and this is just the beginning. It's, it's going to be continuous, continuous, simple, but it's going to be a nice effect. And here, grab the links, and let's give it a box shadow. Do not worry about this one because it's too large. But you have a link to my Facebook page, and you're going to have that there. Okay. All you have to do is copy and paste, and of course, you can change around with the numbers. I'm gonna accelerate the video a little bit, and you see in the end how nice this is gonna be. As you can see, it's done, and you have already this nice effect. Now let's also add uh, a border. Okay, this is gonna be one pixel. It's gonna be solid, and it's gonna be this color here: zero dot zero zero and transparency dot one. This is happiness on the hover. So we're gonna go back to our link. Okay, because this is the effect. You go from one state to another one. We go from this, okay, to this one. This is CSS effects. We go from one state to another one, okay. Now let's also have a transform and translate in y direction two pixels. So there is a shadow and there is this translate in y direction, okay. Let me see you yeah there's two things going on and the third one is gonna be the the colors as you can see a lot of things are going on or hover effect make this a nice project and here let's make it smoothly okay let's add a transition on transform 
Let's set a time of dodge 5 seconds. Let me show you that how different it is right now. Take a look. Yeah, it looks really nice. Now let's move to the last part of our project here. It's still on hover effects. Let's uh, have also a scale. This is gonna change. It's gonna shrink a little bit, okay? Let me show you. Let's also add some transition on this effect too. Let's use the same here, about 5 seconds. And yeah, let's see. You see, it shrinks a little bit and it happens in a half of a second. This is a nice effect. Now let's go to the third part of it. Let's change its color. So it's, you have the shadow, we have this shrinks a little bit and also change the color. Let's start with the Facebook icon. We are hover over this one, it's gonna change to its color. Let me just duplicate this one. All right, it's done. And let's change here. This one is gonna be for the Twitter. And here, let's type the Twitter color. Move to the third one, it's gonna be for the WhatsApp. The same thing here, let's just change its color. And Instagram. Let's put its color here. And now let's move to the last one, okay? Let's move to the YouTube. Don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see the next videos, okay? Let me see here. Okay, now we have all the effects. Everything is going on, everything is running perfect. Let me show, maximize and show it to you. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, like, thumbs up, and consider subscribe so you don't miss our weekly videos. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.